Yo, can everybody hear me? I hope so. Um, yeah, I think we're good to go. Uh, welcome everyone, uh, this is Rugby. Um, it's been another fascinating day of racing, as always. Um, but here is the main event. It is um, the Tier 1 League Racing Next. Um, and the main um, agenda is the Drivers' Championship. Um, and I can confirm to you through maths, unless I've got terrible maths, is that um, if Too Late Mate outscores Carcraft by 10 points, he will win the championship tonight. Um, if I've got that, if I've got my maths correct, as always. Um, I'm just waiting for the lobby to load up. Um, we will get underway with qualifying here at Abu Dhabi. Let's just get uh, everything set up. We'll have that enabled. And we'll have that enabled. So, let's see who is going to maybe try and qualify on mediums. Uh, maybe do that one stop shadow with mediums to have. Um, and going to be qualifying on soft tyres. Um, as you can see, all the cars. Now on the track now. <laughs> See the two Mercedes, a little bit of them pile up there. Luckily the cars can go through each other so it doesn't really matter if they are released in front of somebody in the pit lane. But yeah, it's a pretty long um it's a pretty long lap this track. Um, compared to others I suppose. Um, we've got m a mid 130, uh, in the mid 130s, uh, for a lap around here. Um, as you can see, Sten, it looks like he's the only person coming out on medium tyres. So, interesting tactic from him in the Ferrari. Um, but yeah, Abu Dhabi, it's a good track, I do, I do like it. Um, no, it's got decent places to overtake, I I'd say, it's got... It's very long straight that Dark is on just now, uh, which is the first DRS zone, and the second DRS zone is also a decent place to to take someone. Um, so yeah, I, I'm a pretty, I'm, I'm a decent fan of the Yaz Marina circuit. Uh, so it looks like is it Efron or Fariko Sami? to cross the line first, I believe it's going to be Fariko, so we will stay on board with him for the start of his lap at least, as he gets underway. <laughs> keeping it nice and tight, keeping the theory nice and steady as well, can lose a lot of time by doing so. It's been a decent start to the lap from Federico Sam. You can see a couple of the cars in behind him. I believe it is um, Frico no not Frico Toxic, it is um, Matt Pay uh, that is behind him at the moment. Not quite getting a good run out of there. He would cost himself quite a bit of time there. Just didn't get the car rotated and it gave him a, a difficult angle to turn into. <laughs> if that is the right way of putting it. <laughs> Two turns left, that's the first one. And here's the final one and the first lap that's going to be set in qualifying to 135. Um, we're going to jump straight onto Magic Gate. It's actually jumped into the pits. Uh, Paris, this is the next drop line. It's on 135.8. 
Uh, meanwhile, uh, Joe Royal uh, will fail ball ref him as he comes around the, it's the final corner. And his teammate Yari goes Brazil pole, 133 point five. Uh, and Joe will beat that time to 133.4. Really good lap from him. Uh, Bob Sada does a 134.093. Uh, meanwhile, we will um, uh, turn Major actually jumps into the pit, so we will not do that. We will stay on board with Vision as he comes around the final corner. No, Vision's got a good time in him usually. Um, and it's a 133.4, so not quick enough to beat. Uh, Joe Royal's time. Uh, meanwhile, Harry Collie, my driver day from last week, does a 133.8. No bad lap from him. Meanwhile, Sten, the only driver uh, trying to qualify on medium tyres at, for at the moment. Uh, oh, he's all over the place coming out of the final corner as a 134.1. Then on those medium tyres as Penner starts his lap. Uh, we'll stay on board with L Trocker in the Renault, I think. Uh, as you can see, Yari in that Mercedes. Or oh, the Joe Royal, sorry. That's one of the Mercedes boys is um, cutting a few corners trying to get back to the pit. Joe Royal needs to really get out the way here. Yeah, uh, no worries, actually he's got another corner, he's well away now, so no problem at all. Um But El Truck is gonna come across the final corner. And he is going to set a 134.4, so he's just into the top ten with that lap. Uh, so uh, we will stay on board with Penna as he enters his uh, final lap. Got to keep it nice and tight to the to the apex, and that's going to save you a lot of time. Hello, George. How you doing, mate? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to qualifying here in Abu Dhabi as Pedder comes around the final corner and he is going to set a 134.2 and he's in P9 with that time. So after that uh, first run of qualifying if you like, Joe Royal out in front with that 133.45 but it's so close between him and Vision. It's unbelievable. And if I'm on board here with Mavs UK in the Alpha Tari hasn't set a lap time yet. A lot of these drivers keeping that trying to keep the inside line, trying to keep the cars possible to lose as little speed as possible. And they're doing it very well. All right, run through there. Not the best though from Mavs. With the car. Oh, what the hell is Fariko Sami doing? That's absolutely mental. And that might have just upset Mavs UK's rhythm. But either way, Mavs is going to come around the final corner. And it, he is going to set a 134.046 and he is up into P7. As their cars are coming out for, for their second run at qu their second run of qualifying. It looks like everyone is now on softs. Um, as Bob Sad has unfortunately invalidated his lap time by the looks of things. So um, we will stay on board with Yari as he starts his lap. Currently in P3 at the moment. He'll be looking to improve it on that time as Harry Colley comes out of the pits very slowly to avoid in Yari's way. But he's a little bit up in that first sector, Yari. 
and can lose, almost lose the car a little bit there. Maybe just got on the power a little bit too early and had the back end swishing its tail out a little bit there. But um, yeah, Yadi continues on. Doesn't quite get as close to the curb as he would have liked there, Yadi. But still a decent run at the moment. And that's the way to do those, uh, to do that part of the track from Yari. You just sort of got to flick the car through each corner and hope for the best that you've um, timed it correctly so you don't lose time. Yari using as much of the track as possible. But uh, it's not good enough for Yaddy, he's going to jump into the pit, so we've watched him all for that, and he's not even going to set the lap. <laughs> Typical. As a uh, car crack goes up a couple of steps in that sector. Me and my, we will stay on board with Dark. Usually in F3, having a go at F1 as he just invalidates his lap, unfortunately for him there. Meanwhile, the main man, too late mate, hasn't set a lap time yet. His championship rival, the only man that can stop him winning it today, Carcraft, currently in P6 at the moment. He'll want to take advantage of that. And I'm qualifying. And as I say that, Carcraft actually goes for his pole but 133.3. So he must have heard me there. <laughs> Mega lap from Carcraft. Fair play to him. But too late, mate. He's going to come around the final corner. And is he going to be able to snatch provisional pole? I think he's going to. He is. He's into the 132. That's an insane uh, lap from him. <laughs> and meanwhile, Frico Toxic comes around the final corner as well onto the star finish straight. And he is. Not managed to go quicker and he'll stay in P11. Uh, so we will. Uh, who's next across the line? Uh, it will be El Trocker, so we'll stay on board with him. Unless Penner. No, he's on up up. And now Trocker in the red O is done on 133.6. He's up at the P7. I mean, my Harry Collins up to P6. Uh, Sten is up to P9. So nice um, little improvements from a couple of our drivers here. In my board here with MBD Vision now down to P4 at the moment. Uh, we're just over five and a half minutes of qualifying to go. Can he upset his teammate and snatch provisional pole off his fast? He can, it's a 132.7. And MBD Vision goes provisional pole. Uh, meanwhile, Vice Sheng, the fire person, oh, he has not sell that time, he's actually put the car into the wall and is the end of qualifying and he will not set a lap time. That's a shame for Vice Sheng, just pushed it too much and yeah, there was nowhere to go but the wall. Meanwhile, his teammate Penis on a 133.8. Meanwhile, a couple of cars uh, racing into the pits. You can see Dark and L Trucker doing just that. Meanwhile, Mavs is currently in P12. It's sort of up to six so far. 
And he's gonna come around the final corner. He is gonna set the lap time. Excuse me, and he's into the top ten, one thirty three point six. And my vision has invalidated his lap time. As has Freddy Cove Sammy, so um He's going to be jumping into the pits for another set of fresh tyres, as is Yari, I assume. Um, who's next on the line? Penna's doing the same. Uh, Bob Sadler's actually on a lap, so we'll stay on board with the Bobby Dazzler. Who does go purple in sector 2. Currently in P12. But if he can find a couple of attempts, he's going to find himself a few places up the grid. Which is what he'll want. <laughs> Bob Sad is coming round the final corner. Oh, and I'm not sure what happened there, but I think he's decided no, I'm going to jump in the pit, and he's actually missed the pit lane. So, um, yeah, very, very, very strange. Uh, maybe he decided he wasn't up enough, and that's why he didn't set the lap time. In fact, he's not. He's going to retire. So that's a very, very strange decision why he didn't just go across the line there. Um, but either way, at the end of Bob Sider's qualifying. Meanwhile, we're on board with Carcraft about to start his a lot. In fact, we're going to jump back on board because I think I can see someone setting a lap time. No, Fico is uh, just on an outlap, so we'll stay on board with Carcraft as he comes across the lap to start what potentially could be a final lap, but we'll have to wait and see. And he's got a lot of time to make up if he wants that provisional pole position. He's got five or six tenths off of it at the moment. He's going to need some big improvements, is the Williams drive. As you can see, loads of cars on outlaps at the moment, but staying out of the way of car craft. Really is having to dodge traffic at the moment on this um, fast lap car craft, but he's still still decent so far. I think he is definitely going to improve if he continues on like this. There you go, keeps it nice and you ride in the apex to maximise the speed and not lose time. Harker comes across the f around the final corner and it's a 133 he is not going to improve uh see mate just um doing that uh, meanwhile who's going to cross the line uh first in terms of the guys who are driving at the moment um i think it's going to be harry cully so we will stay on board with harry Currently in P6 is Harry Cully and the McLaren, and that is the end of qualifying, so now it's up to the drivers on this lap only to see if they can improve. Harry Cully is going to come across the line to 133.6, he goes up to P6 with that time. And meanwhile, it's Faddy next to come across the line as Joe Rell retires, he's not going to go any faster. And he's using as much of the track as possible currently in. P5 and Faddy is going to set 133.1. He gets up into P4. Uh, good stuff from him. And uh, meanwhile, Federico Sami is coming across the line next. Uh, and it's a 134.3 from him. Meanwhile, it's El Trocker next. And it's a 133.3 from him. Uh, Yari is across the line. It's a 132.8. He's up to P2.
Uh, meanwhile, Chopper Harris currently in P17. I don't think he's going to be staying P17 now. I think he's definitely to 134.3 for him. And meanwhile, Sten has invalidated his lap time. Uh, finally, it's too late, mate. He's on P3. Can he take first? No, pull back. He can't. It's at 132.6. And his teammates invalidated his lap time. So it looks like it's going to be pole position for him. Uh, Frico Toxic is um, going into the pits. Harry Cully's finished as well. And I believe that is actually the end of qualifying. So too late, mate. Not messing Weekends. He wants that championship wrapped up tonight. And he takes provisional pole to give himself the best opportunity to make that a reality. So, that is the grid for the race. It's going to be too late, mate, in vision. Then Yari, then Carcraft, then Fadi, then El Trocker, then Joe and Harry, Federico, Mavs, then it's Penner and Sten, Bob Sadder and Dark, Frank Efron and Chopper, and Sammy and Vice Sheng round off the grid. So, none of the top ten. Um, Qualifying on the medium, so for top 10, it is going to be the two stop strategy uh, soft, medium, soft. Maybe some will fancy the soft or hard, depending on what they're pacing. Um, and for the guys that are outside the top 10, to them, what's higher they start with, they could start at medium and then go to hard and just do the one stop, or they could do the medium, soft, soft, um, or medium, soft, medium if they really wanted to. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a dry race, uh, the sun is. The, uh, the skies are clear, um, so it looks like we have a dry race for this session. Let us know in the chat who you are rooting for. Give us your predictions. Um, I think too, for me, I think too late mate means business today, um, and he will and win the championship. I know it's boring, but I think he'll he means business. I think Harcraft will finish in the top three though as well. Um, that is my predictions if you like let us let me know yours in the chat uh jordan saying carcraft is going to win the race so if that was the case he would need too late mate to finish outside the top three um to keep the championship alive for the final race next week which is at interlagos in brazil um so we will um, no, we don't want that on. Uh, we'll have that on. Um, let's have a look at the tyre strategy. So, obviously, top 10 on softs. Um, interestingly, the only person outside the top 10 to start on softs is Dark. Um, and then Penna, Sten, Bob Sada, Frank Efron, Chopper Harris, Rico Sami, and Vice Sheng starting on the mediums. Uh, so, it's going to be very interesting to see what the strategy <laughs> Um, is is going to be uh, for these drivers got safe I say this every week but safety cars can just throw everything out the window um, but it's going to be a good one uh, George says he's put a tenner on them but yeah just a, a quick mention as well of course the Alphas absolutely smashing it again getting the top two once again vision and too late mate they are so ruthless in their business um and yeah thanks for that yari qualifying really well as well gets onto p3 carcraft doing a decent job uh, last week in the um press room did of course uh, kind of admit that he felt that the championship was already over and that he was going to try and consolidate p2 position um 
So he'll want to get good points to um, for that. <laughs> Joe Royal qualifying as well, pretty well into P7. Normally in F2, of course, Joe Royal. So decent qualifying from him. As Penner going a bit wide there, <laughs> trying to warm up his tyres. <laughs> So as the drivers come around the final corner, back onto this start finish straight to line up for the race start. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to have that on. Um, as well. A couple of cars taking their time to line up. But Vaishnav and Frank of Sammy are on the grid now. So, looks like we are just about ready to get underway for round 14 of the SRL Season 2 F1s here. And we have five red lights. And away we go here. Uh, Two of got a decent start. Yari's done well as well. Uh, Kaka putting vision, uh, Yari under pressure a little bit, there's a Red Bull gone wide there, that is Faddy. Uh, but he's actually managed to gain a position. Um, him and Joe Royal having a little bit of a scrap there, as you can see. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, all the Ferrari of uh, Sten, contact with uh, Vai Sheng there. <laughs> that looked a little bit uh, nasty, uh, both of them um, on the press zone, uh, going side by side. Um, meanwhile, further up ahead, uh, look, Faddy has got past Joe Royal. So it's been a decent start from him. Looked like he went wide, but that actually seems to have helped him. And he's gained a couple of positions off the start. Meanwhile, too late, mate has managed to um, keep his lead. Although Vision's putting some pressure on him, as is Yari. Uh, meanwhile, El Trocker, nice move from him on uh, Joe Royal. Uh, they're both side by side as there's yellow flags. Um, and it looks like something's going, to happen between, going on between a few drivers. Not sure who it was, though. Uh, but I'm not sure what happens to Vision, but he's had a terrible start and he's down to P8. Uh, so, not good for him. And meanwhile, Sten. Trying to hold off Fariko Toxic, who's looking to get past him. Uh, meanwhile, Carcraft. I wonder if there's an incident between Carcraft and Vision, because Carcraft is into the pits. And that's massive for the championship fight, as um, the standing. So, uh, about for a second. Um, but yeah. Carcraft having to pit and change his front wing. He's onto the medium tyres. He's that's a nightmare for Carcraft and too late mate now. Nah, all he has to do is uh, get this car home and he's won the championship. Uh, meanwhile, Chopper Harris seems to have lagged out of the session. Which is a shame for him. <laughs> meanwhile, for Vision, it's a case of trying to um, recover the race as best as he can. As he gets after the Mercedes of Joe Royal here, uh, he'll he'll get DRS as well. Uh, will Vision? He's gaining on Joe. He's gaining, um, but he's not going to be close enough to make a move. Uh, meanwhile, Federico Toxic and Vai Sheng are side by side. Uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, pretty cool. It's oh, he's hit the, he's hit the inside, and he's oh, and then he, I think Vai Sheng had tapped him, but not not Vai Sheng's fault at all. Oh, that's a massive shame for him. And that's gonna mean a front wing change for sure. As two, they made us a fast lap to one thirty eight. As uh, 
Welcome to the stream, David. Yep, um, you joined at the right time to see that unfortunate crash. Uh, I think Toxic is having to pit now, as you can see. Um, but in terms of drivers, they've got the best stuff. We've got Vision trying to get past Joe here, and he's trying to try and dive bomb into the inside here. And they'll go side by side here, but Vision is going to have DRS, and he'll open up the DRS as well. And I think Joe's going to be unable to defend this one, although he'll give it his best shot. They're still side by side. Vision hasn't got the move done yet. He comes up, he does come across, and he's just got the move done. A uh, nice move from him, and he's up into P6 now. Meanwhile, El Trocker hunting down Faddy for a place on the um, podium positions. He's had a decent start from P6 up to P4. Uh, meanwhile, Vice Shanks had a really good start, hasn't he? He's the call start to P18. He's up into P9 already, so fantastic stuff from him. That's <laughs> uh, Faddy Wolf. Went a little bit wide there on that corner, and that's got a little trucker just to gain a little bit more here. I find he's having a little bit of a nightmare final sector of his uh, lap four. Said the penalties by Shane and Maz are the only ones, and they have three seconds of penalties at the moment. Uh, meanwhile, Carcraft is on the fastest lap of the race on the mediums of a 137.8, so he's showcasing a bit of his pace there. As El Shocker has got his DRS over up, he's got DRS as well, and he's going to fly past Faddy here, and he is up into the podium positions, although. Excuse me, Faddy is going to get DRS back at El Trocker here. And can he get him back here? He is gaining, and he's going to slingshot towards the outside here. Is Faddy, and he goes side by side. Oh, and El Trocker, he hits El Trocker, there's contact, and he's gone spinning. And that's a shame for Faddy, that. And that dropped him down into P10, that's a massive shame. Uh, meanwhile, MBD Vision ooh, had a look at Harry Colley there, um, but Harry shut the door and Vision backed off enough to avoid contact with the McLaren driver. But Vision is making up, pro is making good progress here. I know, want to clear how possible, um, so we can have a go at El Trocker. Meanwhile, out in front to limit has a 2.4 second gap to Yari at the moment, so um, it's been a very good race for him so far. Meanwhile, the yellow flags in sector one and two. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, let's make maybe Chopper Harris has spun as he's now down in P17. Uh, they, uh, the uh, Pen Africa and Chopper looks like they're scrapping hard at the back. Uh, meanwhile, Vision's going to have a go at Harry Cully here. And it's another nice move from Vision. He's up into P4. And his next target is El Trocker. The press is open. And he uses the RX here. And El Trocker's going to really struggle to defend this. Although he's going to make Vision go, on, go around the long way. And it's a fantastic move from MBD Vision. And he is up into P3 now. Fantastic stuff from him. Sten is, as um, well, he did get past up into P7, but he seems to have dropped down a few positions. I don't know if something's happened to him there. But on board uh, with Vice Sheng. On the medium tyres, I can see the soft tyres are starting to go off just a little bit now. And a window for a couple of, of the soft runners. 
you think is not going to be too many laps away as we get a nice overview shot uh, of Vice Shane trying to catch Harry Colley here. And he is gliding on the McLaren. Oh, but Vice Shane just cut the corner a bit there and he gets his a three second time penalty. But he's going to be putting Harry Colley under immense pressure here and he's going to get done I think here um, and that is Vice Shane up at the P5 and can he have a late go at El Troca here potentially not quite unfortunately for him maybe he can have a go at him though as El Troca loses a little bit of the car just gets a bit of uh, understeer there and now Vice Shane is all over the back of Beno as they go side by side in the second DRS and Vice Sheng looks like he's got that move done. It's very good from him. And now he's up into P4. Some really nice overtakes so far in this race. Uh, and Vice Sheng and Vision are at the at the front of it. Oh, that's the best way to describe it. Emi Marzell flagged in sector three. Again, not too sure what's happened. Uh, well, just a bit up ahead, we have uh, Yari. In fact, Vision's going to go for the undercut here. Uh, so Yari stays out, and the undercut can be so... Oh, what's I looking for? It can be so effective around here, because... Essentially, because of the way the pit lane is, when you... Um, you you're essentially going the same speed as, as, the, as the cars are who aren't in the pit, because of the way the track is uh, so you're not actually going to lose as much time as you normally would if you were going the same distance but a lot slower um, that's why I feel like Undercut is a very powerful tool around here meanwhile Vice Sheng on medium ties Yari will probably be going into the pits this lap and maybe Vice Sheng to get past Yari before the pit stops occur He's looking very strong on these me Got a lot of DRS to play with though, he's not going to use any, but I don't think he's going to need it. Um, as he's got DRS, so they'll go side by side, but he'll have to go the long way. Uh, oh, he's trying to get the cut back on Yari, and he goes side by side, a little bit of contact. But Yari holds on to the position, nice defending from him. Vice Sheng for now will have to stay P3, although you can see he's got the pace advantage over Yari at this very moment. Those soft tyres are really going off now as our race leader too late mate is now into the pits. Uh, meanwhile Yari is trying the overcut here as he's going to stay out, so that's going to be a bit frustrating for Vice Sheng. Uh, but it does mean that Yari is going to take the lead of this race for now. Um, although we had a little moment there. And you think, you'd think that Vice Sheng is going to get Yari in this next DRS zone that's just coming up as Yari's car is all over the place at the moment. He's really struggling to, to keep the car, to keep the car on the track properly at the moment um, but Vice Sheng doesn't use any of his ERS as Joe Rose gets a fast lap for this to 137.6 and fast to 137.5 to beat that and Vice Sheng is going to go into the inside now Yari has the inside line and they're side by side and they're touching once again not for the first time and Vice Sheng has got the move done and he is the lead of this race now and Yari, powerless to defend in the end there. He tried his very best, but Vice Shane was going through there one way or the other. So you, Yari, surely he's going to pit this lap. As it uh, looks like Harry Colley has um, managed to get past El Trocker. Uh, meanwhile, Vision um, is trying to have a go at Bob Sadder, who hasn't pitted yet. And look at the difference in... Tire wear that Vision's gotten grip. He's managed to keep Bob Sadder in a part of the track I never thought anyone could overtake anybody. Fantastic from Vision. 
I need to bet the cup was got the overtakes at the moment. Terrific stuff. Uh, meanwhile, Yari in the pit too late, mate. Takes. Gets ahead of him, and he's. It'd be interesting to see how much of a gap he's got. In fact, Vision's also managed to get Yari, so the undercut is incredibly powerful here. As Yari drops down a load of positions, and he's down to P9 out of the pit. In fact, he's still in the pits, I think, as well. I think he's just come out now. Uh, meanwhile, too late, mate. Well, I think Frank Efron is not going to get in the way of too late, mate, here. He knows they're on. They're in different races. Of course, Frank Efron hasn't pitted yet. Uh, too late, mate. And now only has Vice Sheng in his way to retake the lead of this race. But so far, so good for the Alfa Romeo driver in his pursuit of the driver's championship today. Uh, meanwhile, we will jump on board with the battle between Bob Sadder and Carcraft. Bob Sadder still not pitted yet, of course. Uh, Carcraft had to pit early because of um, getting damage, I think. Um, and there was that extra couple of uh, laps difference is paying dividends for Carcraft. He's uh, pulled out a little bit of a... He's got outside of the DRS of the uh, Renault driver now. Meanwhile, Mavs UK. Currently in P10. Trying to get after Yari here. Yari, of course, on fresh and medium tyres. As Bob Sadder now decides to pit. So that's going to promote... Um, Mavs UK and Yari upper position. Uh, meanwhile, Vision looks like he's going to be the next person to get past Frank Efron here. Be a chance to see if Frank Efron does the same as he did for too late, mate, and he is. And then Vision Vision wants to get the, the slipstream to help him along. And he is up. Back onto the podium positions is MBD Vision. Meanwhile, El Chocker. Catching up to Harry Colley here, but not, he's going to run out of track there, and he's not going to get past the McLaren on that occasion. Both cars pitted at the same time, of course. Uh, so it's only two drivers now that have not pitted, uh, three drivers, sorry, who have not pitted yet, uh, and that is Chopper Harris. Um, Vice Sheng, or Vice Sheng is now into the pit. Uh, and Frank Efron, who's going to stay out. Uh, too late, mate, posts the fastest lap of the race and retakes the lead of this race as well. Sorry to repeat myself a little bit there. Um, but just look how much Yari's lost out on for after just waiting that extra couple of laps. The undercut just so powerful for too late, mate. Now he's got a 4.7 second gap to his teammate. It's going... Just as planned as, oh, it looks like somebody has, is going very slow in Sector 1. And it looks like, is it a um, Alpha Tauri? I think it's Mavs UK that's had a, a moment and has lost um, a bit of his front wing, potentially, has he? Or is it very, very, very toxic, actually? Uh, he's trying to hold on to the position against Joe Royal. Um, meanwhile, we will leave this battle for now because um, there's a battle between um, P4 to P7 at the moment. And um, only a friend, a friend's not very far up the road as well. So Yari looking to... Is he looking to get past our trucker here? He's going to dive down the inside. But uh, not quite able to get that move done. On that occasion. 
Meanwhile, Harry Cully on much fresher medium tyres. He's got the advantage of a car craft now. And this is going to be a fascinating battle, Jari. There's going to be so many battles happening here. It's unbelievable. Um, and we will we'll jump on board with Carcraft first because he's going to get past the house of Frank Efron that hasn't pitted yet. Uh, meanwhile, Harry Cully, he's going to have to get Frank Efron, not on that occasion. Uh, meanwhile, Jari has to slam on the brakes to avoid going into the back of El Trocker. And everyone using a little bit of that ERS. Harry Cully is gaining on Frank Efron, but he's not going to gain enough. And he'll stay in P5. As meanwhile, El Trocker and Yari are going side by side again. This time, Yari has uh, got out in front. <coughs> Excuse me. And meanwhile, up the road, Frank Efron and Harry Cully having a little battle there, Frank Efron's really compromised himself there and Harry Cully says thank you very much and that is P4 for him and meanwhile Frank Efron's gone wide again and he might lose out to, to Yari next and oh they go side by side here going into the final corner and Yari comfortably got past Frank Efron who might think about pissing soon now uh, as Carcass is there uh, Lapping Chopper Harris, who's not in this race anymore. Uh, meanwhile, we go from one um, train of cars battling uh, to another. Uh, you've got Faddy, Joe Royal, Frank uh, Frico Toxic, and Bob Sada in a little group of four at the moment, uh, battling for those final point positions. Um, meanwhile, El Trocker has um, now got past Frank Efron. Carcraft still holding on to the position uh, from Harry Colley. Although I know the RS zone is coming up and this has been it's a good opportunity for Harry Colley. And the slingshot is incredible! And he's, go he's going to have to go the long way, I think. And he does get the move done. And Harry Colley is up into P3 now. It's Yari and Vaishengo side by side here. And the move is still not done. And Yari's going on the outside. There was a little bit of contact between the two. And Vaisheng has gone off and Yari was surprised as well. Uh, but that Yari is through for P5. What drama there. Uh, meanwhile, we'll jump a bit further behind as uh, Faddy trying to get, get ahead of Joe Royal at the moment. And Faddy's almost pushing Joe Royal through these final couple of corners. Such as um, how much gaining on the Mercedes, although he's gone very wide, they has to correct his steering. Although he gets a really good run out of the final corner on Joe Royal. Uh, and Yari is out of the race! He's lost it in sector one! I'm not sure what happened because we were watching another battle. And that is Yari out of this race, and it is going to bring out a safety car, and that is a massive save um, for Yari, who qualified the P3 and was um, getting through the field quite nicely. Um, but he is now our second retirement of this race, and that is a, a massive shame for him. Uh, meanwhile, Bob Sada on soft tyres. He's gaining on Faddy here. And is he going to try and, and get past him? Faddy is actually going to try and get Joe Royal here. Uh, he's going to try and get the switch back on the Mercedes. And they're going to go side by side in the second RS zone. And now it's free wide here as um, Bob Sada joins the party. And they're free wide. It's incredible. Uh, but Fanny's got through, and now Bob Sanders got through. Joe Royal's lost a few positions, and Bob Sanders and Fanny touch, and Fanny's got to go wide. 
I thought he's off the track again. Oh, he's just Bob Sider. It's mental. Oh my word, he needs to be careful here. And Bob Sider lets us to let Fanny through and stop the cut the uh, for the time being. But Bob Sider's gonna have another go at Fanny here. Potentially, and Joe Royal's looking at this battle, thinking I'm just he could get involved as well. As all this contact again from the two, it nudges Faddy wide, and Bob Sadder is now through on the soft tyres uh, for P8. Very hard racing from the uh, from the uh, Bob Sadder and Faddy there. And Faddy's not got a good run out there, so Joe Rose gained a little bit on him here. As uh, my voice just starts to absolutely disintegrate with the excitement that we're seeing here in Abu Dhabi. And Joe Will, he's got DRS, and ERS is opened up, and he's gonna have a go at Faddy here. No, he's gonna close the RS, he's not gonna gain fast enough. As Faddy has gone very wide off the track there, very interesting uh, line from him to help keep, the, keep his speed up. Oh, and Faddy, oh, 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 breaking very late there. I thought he was going to go into the back of Bob Sadder there, luckily he didn't. Uh, but I think Faddy has maybe got a bit of damage because he's really struggling around these corners. As a uh, oh Joe Royal having to break very hard to avoid Faddy at the moment, and it'd be interesting to see if the Red Bull is going to go into the pits or not. And oh Faddy lost the car! Oh no! And he's missed the pit lane, and he's almost gone into Joe Royal. Oh my word! Talk about struggling to get into the pit. Oh my word, that was frightening! As uh, Sten now wants to get past Faddy, and he will do! Absolutely insane stuff! Uh, meanwhile, further up the road, uh, so it's happened in Sector 1 and 2, El Trocker uh, and Vice Sheng are lapping uh, of Sammy, who is uh, not in this race anymore, I don't think. Oh no, he is in the race! Uh, he just goes a bat marker and El Trocker's been compromised a little bit here you know and Vai Sheng is going to try and go around the outside of him oh and there's a little bit of contact between him and El Trocker and Vai Sheng has been in the wars hasn't he's he's kept going and given us some fantastic moments in this race uh, meanwhile uh, the lap car is really um, been a bit of a distraction for these drivers but they're both through now they are, of course, meant to get out of the way under the new rules now. Um, the bat markers, even though you can't go through them, you're meant to get out of the way. Uh, as Faddy has retired from the race, and it is a safety car. And this has really got thrown effort into the works. But on lap 17, I definitely give people a free pit stop. And for Frank Efron, he's going to be the first to jump into the pits and I wonder if it's going to be soft or mediums. Uh, soft would get you to the end, you'd be struggling at the end but um, be interested to see what tyres everybody comes on, uh, comes, sorry, comes out on. Uh, Frank Efron, it's soft tyres for him. Bob Sadders on to the medium tyres, um, which is interesting. Uh, Freako Toxic on to the soft Sten on to mediums. Uh, so people clearly thinking that the softs will You'll lose too much time. Of course, you're going to be um, slow uh, for the next couple of laps, so you can save your tyres. So, perhaps soft would be a better option, but um, either way. What well, a shame. It was a, a nightmare final couple of laps before he um, retired from the race. Um, and let's have a look at the penalty situation, because now... The penalties might just be a little bit concerning for a few. Very fully with three seconds. Vai Sheng has six seconds, which is now going to hurt him. Whereas the whole field is going to bunch up, and he's going to have to try and make up that time. 
Um, if he wants to finish in a decent points position, uh, meanwhile Joe, Mavs, Fariko Toxic, and Sten all on three seconds, as is Fariko Sammy. So too late, mate, comes out of the pits now. Uh, and it's Carcraft, funnily enough. <laughs> Um, but he's not going fast enough, and you know something, too late mate, is going to hold on to the lead of this race, he's on soft tyres, and I'm going to say it, but I think my prediction has come true, and I think too late mate, is going to win the championship today, barring anything happening after the restart of course. Uh, the Vision has been a fantastic recovery from him. Um, after his uh, little moment uh, in lap one, uh, which would run into P8, he's now up into P2, and he's going to have a free shot at his teammate, um, as they're both on the same um, life of tyres, if you like. So, as I always say, guys, this is your minute or two opportunity to go and grab yourself some snacks, go and grab yourself a nice drink, put your feet um, and enjoy the rest of this race. Of course, if you are driving, you can't pick this up, uh, you still have perhaps to go. <laughs> Remember guys as well, do let us know who you think should be driver of the day today. <laughs> we have a look at the position change, Advice Sheng has been a fantastic race from him. And unfortunately it looks like it's only going to be penalty to deny him a fantastic result. Um, after his poor qualifying, um, you know, um... Up into P5 at the moment. Frank Efron's had a decent one as well. Um, he's gained quite a few positions and he's into P6. And crucially, he doesn't have a penalty either. Uh, does, as does, uh, does Frank Efron in the Haas. Uh, but, uh, not everyone has caught up yet, so we're going to have another lap. Safety car driving as a couple of the back markers get... Um, excuse me, in between uh, some of the drivers. So it looks like the whole field is now caught up. Um, with the field very muddled up at the moment. Uh, as you can see, uh, Vice Sheng, who we know is in P5, but is um, at the back um, with a load of drivers in front um, who they have lapped. Of, uh, well, uh, who they have not lapped, um, but yeah, some of the positions are completely wrong. And that is your confirmation that the safety car is coming in this lap. So final look at the penalty, just to remind you all. Uh, the only person who has who's got more than three seconds is Vice Sheng, so he's got to get a move on. Uh, everyone else is on three seconds. Um, but he does have soft tyres on. Um, so let's see what he can do. It's been a very good performance from him and Frank Efron so far.
to make me trying to make sure that his tires is warmed up to the max so he can get the maximum out of them when he eventually restarts I'm not sure the rest of you will be happy though with him going this slowly and too late mate now goes and we go racing once again here and we are on lap 20 As the camera goes all over the place. As Frank Efron's picked himself up. A three second time penalty. That's a shame for him. As Vision is gaining on his teammate too late mate. You wonder. If there's going to be some team more until it mate goes, look, you can't even attempt to take me in a place where I could potentially crash out and lose this championship today. Or does Vision go, no, I want to win this race, you've already won the championship, mate. Be interesting to see. Two very quick drivers. Good to see them both battling it out. And meanwhile, Vice Sheng has already pulled out a second to Frank Efron from the restart. Uh, meanwhile, Frico Toxic has uh, gone wide and he's lost out a few positions uh, by the looks of things. But Harry Colley, you wonder if he's going to be susceptible to the forerunners behind them who are on soft tyres. As Vaisheng and Frico Toxic is now out of this race and he's become our fourth retirement. And I hope this isn't going to bring out another safety car and it is not. Uh, so that's good news. Uh, meanwhile, Vaisheng is, is closed the gap to El Troca quite a bit here. And ERS is being deployed. There's no DRS yet, I don't think. So he's going to have to do it all with, the, with ERS. But El Trocker. I don't think he's going to get past him. Oh, he's going to have to really get on the brakes. Oh, and he taps El Trocker. And I wonder if he's got front wing damage from that. I hope not. It was a little tap. Just didn't get on the brakes quick enough, did by Sheng. Um, meanwhile, Carcraft is... Um, Trying to def is uh, trying to hold on to the position that he's gained on Frank Efron, um, and he manages to do so. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Vice Sheng is okay. Doesn't look like he's lost um, any front wing, or if he is, he's uh, not showing it. As Mavs UK has now picked up a three second time penalty and Vision's gone very wide there. He didn't break quick early enough at all and that's allowed to aim a <coughs> to get a tenth or so on his teammate. And you can see Vision, he's desperate he is pushing really hard. He really does want to have a battle with his teammate today. And he'll use his ERS a little bit in stages. And he's gaining on too late, mate. And he's good at They'll go side by side. And it looks like Vision's through. And he will take the lead of this race. Uh, but too late, mate, mate. Might be able to get him back in this second ERS zone. As the gloves are off here at, Al at Alfa Romeo. Two drivers that don't normally battle each other. Um, seem to be just doing just that and giving us a good show until the mate is now back through and that's the danger with overtaking in that first DRS zone as you are very susceptible to lose the DRS zone that comes up just um, two corners later. Meanwhile Vice Sheng still trying to close up the gap to El Trocker here trying to get past. 
Meanwhile, Harry Cully's doing well to keep El Choco behind here. He's gained a, a little bit of time on the Renault, just a little bit. And he would really like Vice Sheng to start trying to make some moves on El Choco. Meanwhile, uh, the yellow flags in sector one and two. I'm not sure what that is for, but we'll jump back on board. It's a virtual safety car, and it's uh, Joe Royal who's going uh, very slow at the back there. Um, and I wonder if there's been an incident between him and um, another car as he now jumps into the pits. I wonder if he's going to retire or not. As we go racing once again, and Vice Sheng is all over the back of El Troca now. Just deciding where to take the Renault if possible. But to be fair to El Troca, he's defending really well. He's putting the car in places where Vice Sheng just can't get past him. So he's defending really well, to be fair to him. But we're going to jump on board with the battle up front as we're back in the DRS zone and his vision going to open up the RS. He is indeed. And I think again, he's, as before, he's going to fly past his teammates here. Oh, and he's really, really compromised himself there. And Tule, mate, his teammate is all over the back of him once again here. And I think it's going to be an end the two late mate retake lead of this race here. And he will. Vision's actually not going to fight him there. Some team orders being um, put into play there potentially. As uh, we've got more yellow flag sector 2. Um, like Penna and uh, Mavs UK having a wee tussle there. And it looks like Mavs is back through and he's up to P10. A good stuff from him. Meanwhile, Vaisheng just scraping the wall just a little bit there. He has finally got past El Trocker now. And they can set his sights on Harry Cully, who has who does have penalties, but he's got three seconds less than Sheng Wei Sheng does. As uh, we have a fifth retirement of the and it is Federico Sam. Excuse me, uh, has retired from this race on a lap 25. So that's for him. Uh, but he has more yellow flags in sector one, and Penna, who has uh, had something happen to him, whether he's lost the car or whatnot. Um, but yep, he's lost the car. That's a shame for him. I mean, I'm for the win this race continues. And this time, Vish is going to have a go at his teammate in the second DRS straight. And all oh, they go close there. And they go side by side here as the camera angle is slow to show us. And it's a nice move from Vision. And he takes um, the lead of the race.
Neymar car craft in P6 at the moment. So a couple of cars ahead of him at the moment. He, if he finishes in P3, he could technically draw. He was too late mate, and too late, mate, was to not finish. Or at least finish outside the top 10 next week, so it would not seal the championship for... Meanwhile, Choco trying to get the position back from Vai Sheng here. And very interestingly, just worked out that I don't think Too Late Mate is going to win the race, is, is going to win the championship like this because there's only set, there's 10 points. Uh, about, no, he is going to win. Yeah, no, actually, he, is, he will actually. Um, because Carl Kraft would get eight and he get yeah, so he would win the race, he would. He would win the championship like this. So just two laps to go now here. And the division still winning this race as it stands. And too late mate appears to have learned his lesson and I think he's going to save uh, his ERS uh, for the next uh, DRS zone. Both cars getting good runs through there. Vision hasn't got a lot of um, ERS to defend with. Um, and too late mate's not going to get past him here and he'll have to make the move happen in the final lap by looks of things although Vision has just got himself a three second time penalty and Too Late Mate no longer needs to pass him on track if he keeps the gap this close Too Late Mate will win the race and the championship today as uh, Carcraft has retired from the session I don't know what's happened there, that's a shame for him in his battle to try and hold on to P2 and too late mate will know now that the championship is a lap away it's been a phenomenal season uh, as we said but too late mate has just been absolutely outstanding the consistency he's shown um, this season win race after race um, he's rarely not finished outside the top three um, and he's actually he's gonna go he's gonna go past this oh they're both swerving a little bit there um, and I think there's a little bit of a show showboating going on here but for the two, by the two Alfa Romeos because they know that they're, they're gonna both finish in the top two and that too late <laughs> and that too late mate has won the drivers championship and I wonder if this weather is on because the constructors is wrapped up as well today <laughs> as they enter the final sector of the lap David says congratulations to the champ and rightly so there's just one corner to go so Vision 
is going to finish on track and he's gonna let his mate pass I think until they mate will finish track to win the race Harry Conley will take uh, P3 um, El Trocker takes P4 Bob Sada through penalty goes down to P5 fantastic from him Vai Cheng is a P6 he's um Crash with a Sten click on the start finish rate. That's a little bit of a nightmare play. That what's going on here? Uh, Frank Efron's now hit him. <laughs> Absolute mental scenes on the start finish straight. <laughs> but let's have a look. But let's take a bow to too late, mate. Your season two SRL tier one winner. As Mavs UK nicks the fastest lap with a 135.4. I wish there was a setting where Too Late Mate could go and do some... ...some celebrationary donuts for us. Because he would definitely deserve to. As Witcher also congratulating too late mate on his success as uh, Jared Day was given to Vice Sheng uh, from the game and he drove a very good race Vice Sheng um, but I'll announce my Day um, after we have a look at the podium too late mate picks up another win And he's going to need a lot more bottles of champagne like that after tonight. So there is your confirmation. Um, so in terms of driver of the day, um, Harry Colley done really well from P8 uh, to P3. Um, Bob Sadder, P13 on penalties, went up to P P5. Um, but you know what? I'm going to give it to Vice Sheng because he gave us some fantastic um, moments in this race. He had a good battle um, with a few drivers, gave us some very nice overtakes. Um, and despite qualifying really low, he got himself a very solid P6. And without the penalties, he would have um, been a bit further high. So I'm going to give my driver of the day uh, to Vice Sheng. Um, but that is it from me um, here. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to commentate another race uh, for you all. Uh, congratulations to all the drivers. Congratulations to Too Late Mate uh, once again um, for winning the Drivers' Championship. Uh, I'll for a mail because I'm on the construction. I already have one. I'm 100% sure on that. Uh, but that is it from us. Um, have a fantastic week. Um, and join Row f um, for uh, GP2 on the Saturday, and then you'll have F4 to F1's final races of the season uh, at Interlagos uh, next week. Uh, so until then, guys, have a fantastic week. Stay safe and take care. Ta-ra, lads.